Hey everyone, welcome to this tutorial on how to sideload Kodi with ES File Explorer. So I already set up ES File Explorer. You can find it from Google Play Store or from the Amazon App Store. I will uh, be showing you this video using uh, Android TV because I don't have a Fire TV stick or a Fire TV box. However, the process is quite similar, only the menu options are a bit different. For and most importantly is that you install ES File Explorer. So as you see here, I already did that. Then I go to Settings, Security and Restrictions. Again, this may be different on a uh, Fire TV stick or Fire TV box. And here we have Unknown Sources. So unknown sources uh, allows you to sideload uh, APK files. Uh, APK files are the files that contain the app that you normally down from Play Store. Only if it's not in Play Store or you in install a new version, you can do that with the APK files. So as you see here, I have unknown sources on. Please be careful that you do not sideload anything you may not want to install. Because there are a lot of malicious uh, files out there that can install viruses, so please be careful. So now this is done, I'm going to go back to the main menu. And here we have ES File Explorer. So it's actually a, a file manager that also allows you to browse the internet in some kind of way. As you see here, there are several uh, menu shortcuts. So what we're gonna do is scroll down on the in the sidebar and go to my search. So this is actually a kind of search option. And here we see um, here we have a menu bar that you can type in some text. So. Let's type in the normal way you would install Kodi. We've got one slash. As you see here, using a remote for typing isn't the best way, but sometimes it's the only way. So, Kodi.tv. So, this is the normal way uh, all those videos show you how to install Kodi. It's one way of doing this, but it's not the, the easiest way and can sometimes fail to download. So, if you scroll down, we have here a Kodi official website. So, if we go there, We can navigate the menu and go to downloads. And here we can normally download from Google Play. It's a direct uh, link to the Play Store. But in case we want to APK install the ARM version. This is the most common version which will work on almost any device. There are some exceptions but just start with the, the ARM version. So normally you, you would click on it and it will start to download. Some of you come, um, mention things on the forum that this does not work, no matter how many times you click on it. So there is another way to directly open this file. And that's going back to the sidebar. Again to my search. And as you already see here, it's called mirrors.cody.tv. So I'm going to type it again for you. So mirrors. Dot. Cody. TV C 
search. As you see here, some advertising we, we don't want. And here we have files, and below it, it says mirrors.cody.tv. This is the, the website we want, because this is the official uh, server where all the Kodi files are stored. So you can also directly go to there and download the files you want. So if we click on it, we are now at the Kodi server where all the add-ons are hosted, the nightly builds that are the new Kodi version that's going to be released in the future. Here we have the official releases, which we actually want at this time. Snapshots are the alpha versions and some test builds. Tools are the Cori Android remote, but on, this is on a TV, so we don't want that. Most importantly, since you saw the typing is quite hard to do on a TV, we're going to make a bookmark of this website so we don't have to type it in again. So as you see here, we go down to the bottom bar, click on more, and here we have the option add to favorites. So this allows us to quickly go to this server. Well, let me give it a name, Cody. Server. Hit next. So now I added the bookmark and create no didn't do that. So let's try again. Add to favorites. So in the bottom right you see more, you click on it, then you can do add to favorites. Just like make it Cody. Next. Okay, so we have cancel and add. I do add. As you see here, now the bookmark is created. And on the left side, we have Cody as a favorite. So if we go to somewhere else, like the weather, and we want to go straight to Cody again, we click on Cody, and here we are. So it's quite easy to add a bookmark for if you want to install the nightly versions on a regular basis or just in general. So for now we're gonna install the official Kodi 16 release. So we go to, again to releases, Android, ARM, and here we have all the old Kodi versions, including the new ones. So here we have Kodi 16.1 Jarvis ARM. So let's click on that one. And as you see here, it also starts downloading just like before. But this server always works in case ESX File Explorer refuses to download the file you want. Let's click Open File. And as you see here, you can now cancel. Market will take you to the Play Store or just hit Install. And Cody wants to access your SD card because it can play movies from that card. So now let's click install again. And after a couple of seconds, Cody is installed on your device and you are done. So now we go back to the main menu and there we have Cody. So the first run will only be a one-time thing and afterwards it will just start Kodi straight on. So after this I will show you how to install the nightly versions which is exactly the same process. As we go to system, this system info and here we have Kodi 16 installed on my Fire Android NVIDIA Shield TV device. So I'm going to exit 
because now I'm going to install the Nightly version. It's exactly the same process, although now I have the bookmark, so it's much easier to do. So ES File Explorer. Here the page is still open because I didn't back out. But if I click on Cody on the left, I go straight to this web page. Click on the nightly version on Android, ARM, and I click now on the latest available Kodi version. So these are the nightly versions, so these are could be considered unstable, but I'd use them all the time. So here we can open the folder where the downloads are or directly open the file. And here we see I already have installed 16.1 and now I want to install 17.0 alpha 3. Install. There are no changes to the permissions Cody wants to make, so install again. By using this method directly downloading from Cody, you know you have a clean, properly working version with no possible ransomware or viruses or uh, other damaging applications that you might get. So only download from the servers you trust. So as you see here, the app is installed. Going back to the main menu, going to Kodi again, starting it up. As you see here, the new logo for the version 17. And there we have Kodi 17 ready to be used. So the upgrading is also quite painless as you install the new version of Kodi just on top of your current version. So again, this is shown on Android TV, which is a different interface than the Amazon Fire TV stick or the Fire TV box, but the process is similar. So make sure you allow the install of APK files somewhere in settings, install ES File Explorer, go to this Kodi website directly by going to my search, typing in the address. As you see here, it's already there. And then hit enter. Okay, I hope you find this useful in instead of the others which tell you go to the Kodi website or some other website which might fail. At least this one works for sure. Okay, goodbye and thank you for watching.